Hello, welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry VTT, of course, uh, and we're in um, Fandelver and below. Um, but we're not here for that. We're here to look at a module we've not looked at before that somebody suggested, which is good for crowd control. <laughs> and when we say crowd control, we mean our players. Uh, the module we're looking at right at the top of my list is called Raise My Hand. So if you've got rebellious groups who keep doing annoying things like talking over each other, um, especially when combat's going on, um, you can use this as a way to sort of help control the group, uh, set a bit of pace and a few rules um, if you need it, because uh, we all know that people do hopefully get excited when they're playing um, and can um, potentially be disruptive. So uh, let's start off by looking at some of the settings. So configure settings is at the top here. There's a whole bunch of things we can do uh, with regard to toggling, um, <clears throat> excuse me, toggling the hand on or off. Um, does it show the hand to the players? Do we display a, a UI notification? Um, we can have those notifications for everybody or only the game master. Do we want to display a chat message? If we do, do we want it only for the game master? So that's quite nice. A couple of images that we can change if we want to instead of the default that I've got in at the moment. Um, we can show uh, some dialogue. Uh, let's tick that one on, just see what that does. Uh, replace chat dialogue image with player avatar. We'll come back and change that in a moment, see what that looks like. I think I know what that's probably going to do, but we'll check it. Um, we can have a little sound here that plays. I've got mine on just for this purpose. Um, and then there's this thing called X card, which I'm not going to look at right now. So what this actually does for all players and the GM, on the left hand side, I've just got this little hand icon. If I hover over it, it says raise my hand. Let's just bring up the chat here. If I click that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, we get that little ding. We get this image in the middle of the screen saying auto DM has put their hand up and we've got one in the chat. Now that's because I've got a whole bunch of the different ones turned on. You're probably not going to want them all turned on. You can turn some off, some on, etc. But what it kind of does is you can use it to encourage your players to say, well, hang on a minute. You know, if you if there's something you want to say, if you want to interject, raise your hand and then I can get then I can ask you once I've finished this description or you know, before I move on to next person's combat, give you an opportunity to say what you need to say. Um, I, I would hope that you're, when you're doing face-to-face, -face, you're sitting down. For those of you who've done that, because um, not everybody has, of course, some people have only ever played role-playing games online. But if you're all sitting together, you've got all of those body language things you can use, you can wave at people, like literally raise your hand and things like that to get attention. Um, as the DM, you know, you can gesture for people like quiet down, quiet down, you know, I'm trying to listen to that person. When everybody's online and you've only using your voice, because you might not even have cameras on, that becomes much more challenging. So you might find that this is a really good crowd control to instill some discipline. Everybody will get a turn, um, but I'm going to be looking at chat and going, right, auto DM, you add your hand up first. Right, what is it you want to say? Okay, right, brilliant. Now you've done, fantastic. And of course they can, I can get rid of this. Um, they can take their hand down again whenever they want to. And that's why when I clicked it first, it didn't ding. So again, I can click it. And the other thing to notice is bottom left-hand corner where we have our players list here. Um, it had the little DM, get rid of that, the little hand come up down here as well. So I can see if I've got my player list open, uh, I can see who's got their hand raised. So it's a really nice little way of doing it. Obviously, it works for the players as well. I'm not logged in as a player at the moment, but it does. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, some people are going to go, no, I don't need that for my group. I mean, I've got one group where um, I have to single people out. I've got a couple of very quiet players, uh, and I find I'm actually more likely to be saying, you know, hey, you, um, you know, what are you doing? All this is going on around you. What, what are you doing while this is happening? And I'm having to kind of on occasions eke out what they want to do. Um, let's go back into those configure settings. Um, there was one about replace the chat with the avatar. Let's tick that on. Let's try that again. Go back to my chat over here. There we go. So instead of the thumbs up, now I haven't got a DM avatar, of course, probably ought to put one on at some point, um, but that's going to bring up your actual icon for whichever player it is. So whichever actor 
um, they have got. So that's that might be another way you want to do it. It's much it's much easier to suddenly see. Oh right, Haley wants to say something, as opposed to somebody wants to say something and then having to read the name. <laughs> I know it's just a name. It's not difficult, but you might just like that. Um, especially if you're showing it to the other players rather than it just being a DM one. Because remember, one of those settings was about chat message, only the DM can see it. Um, so you might want to turn that on. So only the GM seeing it, whether it's avatars, whether it's you know their name and the hand icon, whatever's going to work for you. And you can turn on, turn off um, all of these functions. There's quite a few in there. So only a quick little one. Um, but nice if you've got a party that needs a bit of crowd control uh, and you need a little bit of extra help managing those crowds this could be exactly what you're looking for so um, yeah there you go nice and easy um, that's pretty much the end of the video so um, yeah <laughs> uh, if you use this if you find that you need to use this um, drop a comment let us know if you are using it uh, if you find it's particularly useful I don't think for my groups I need it um, but bigger, rowdier groups, I can absolutely see a place for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. You take care. I'll see you in the next one.